It's been delivering water to about half the people in West Kelowna for months now. But today, officially, the $75 million new Rose Valley Water Treatment Plant is officially open. Well, it, it feels great because, you know, delivering safe, reliable, clean water has been a priority not only for our, our city council, this term, previous terms, but also for our community. So it's, it's huge to, uh, to be able to, to complete this largest, uh, largest infrastructure project in the history of our city of West Kelowna. Also to, to deliver it on budget. And, uh, but the bottom line is that we have clean water for 19,000 plus uh, of our residents and for, for businesses, schools, and, and uh, yeah, it just feels really good. And to put it into context, people in West Kelowna uh, have suffered through water quality problems, have they not? Yeah, you know, prior to the opening of, uh, of this plant, there's been many water quality advisories just because of the, there was only one, one method of treating and that was basically cl uh, chlor chlorination. Uh, but uh, now we have a multiple treatment plant and those days are behind us. So, yeah, for sure, uh, it's, there's been inconvenience times where the water hasn't, uh, you know, met our expectations. But we're going to have uh, probably the best water uh, in the province going forward for, uh, for, for many, many, many years. $75 million, though, it is astonishing how much things like this cost. Yeah, well, it's a, it's a huge, uh, it's a huge uh, plant. And that includes the reservoir and all the uh, transmission mains that were done. So yeah, it's a significant uh, project, and it does uh, does cost uh, money like that. Yeah. But we're so fortunate; uh, it costs seventy five million, but you know, approximately forty one million of those uh, of that money came from the senior levels of government, including the federal government and the provincial government. So with that, without that, it would have been fairly costly for our, our uh, water users. You kind of work it out per end user. It's, it's you know, several thousand dollars per individual. Uh, but I, I, you know, given what water was like and what it'll be like now, money well spent? Oh yeah, and you know, these types of projects, you don't normally uh, pay for it all at once because it would take a fair amount of money to do that in reserves. So sure, it does cost a fair amount per resident. But it's spread out. The, we, you know, we borrowed monies uh, to to complete this. I believe the amount we borrowed was up to approximately $22, $23 million. So that's going to be paid off over many, many years, either 25, 30 years. So it spreads that cost over that time frame. Interest rates are low. And uh, one thing we know for sure, if we were going to build this plant again and five, try to build a plant like this in five, 10 years, it would cost, cost a lot more than $75 yeah. million. Dollars. So here it is, uh, have, have, a, have a taste and, and give us your honest. The best taste in water I've ever had. This is truly awesome. Cheers to our community. Cheers. Wow, cheers.